We serve almost 800 students at J.P. Henderson Elementary. 90% of them are qualified for economic eligibility. 70% of our student population is English language learners. But we also serve a community of parents who care. And definitely very highly effective teachers who believe that the students have the ability to learn. ¿Cómo se mueve? Brincan. We've been working on place value. Muy bien. Perfecto. Expanded form. In order for the staff and the teachers to comply with what you expect, you must first know the students that you're serving. And with that goes data. Who are the students? What level are they on? How are we going to move them forward? Data is giving you the picture in terms of where we need to go. If we're going to aim for high achievement, then we need to walk that path. And we need to do everything that is necessary to be successful. Yes, yes. Our principal is there to give us exactly what we need. If it means me having those extra big magnets, then by God, she's going to get me that. It's not any different than a commander giving his troops whatever they need to go out there and fight. In order for teachers to serve students effectively, we must convey to teachers that they are important. I don't want to say this, but I'm going to go ahead and say, I feel more special here than I do sometimes at home. I feel like I'm a princess here. Everybody. The benefits of having this copier in your classroom is it doesn't make me stress out saying, I have to run out, leave my class unattended. Here I have it all. Being very efficient and the element of time is very critical. Every minute lost is a minute that is being lost for those children. That's what I try to transmit to the troops. Once they get in that classroom, they have to dedicate all their time to teaching the students in order for the students to learn. If you look at the other grade level chairs, they're just as happy as we are. I mean, this is it. I love it. I almost want to say, thank you, Xerox machine. We must organize to deliver services to teachers. Teachers must organize to deliver instruction. I'm gonna show you a little bit. This is all the weekly assessments that we'll be doing for the first two months. We also have all our materials for the first eight weeks for tutorial. My math is for the first eight weeks. We have everything organized in math, reading, and science by objective with the assessments to go with it. Some people think I'm crazy and I don't think it's crazy. I can't function unless I'm organized. This is something that I already have ready so when it's time for me to teach predicting outcome, it's already here organized. I don't have to worry about making the copies. I don't have to worry about getting an aid to do it because I've already prepared eight weeks into school. And don't think I'm the only one. We're all like that. Education is not negotiable. And if I believe that and I convey that message to them and I support them in their endeavor of fulfilling that commitment, then we start building that trust that in team building is very necessary. It's a lot easier for them to then be vulnerable and say, my students didn't do well. What can you do to help me? Miss Mamby, you did really good. What should I do to make sure that my kids hit that 90%? I use the Venn diagram right there a lot. This teacher has a good idea that she implemented in her class. And whoa, that sounded good to me. So I would implement that strategy with my class to see how it goes. Every week we meet as a grade level. The teachers come together and provide their feedback on what happened the previous week or what are we doing the following week. We do cross-level training, we do cross-level planning. That helps a lot because we work as a team. It's not about this is my class and that is your class, but rather these are our students that we're serving together as a group so that if someone needs help, how can we give that teacher the assistance that is needed immediately? Do you have help during reading for the intervention to assist you with those students that might be struggling at this point? So this year, the intervention program at Henderson has been taken to the limit. We look at the background of each ancillary teacher and then we match them up depending on the student need. And this is helping the teacher then to dedicate time to reteaching, to ensuring that those children that did not understand the concept the first time will understand it when they're retaught. Now is my answer just 40 though? No, who can tell me, what is it gonna be, Brianna? 
140, very good. Okay, they didn't do too well in okay, summarization. Like then that tells me I need to work more on that because it's not the kids, it's me. That type of mindset at Henderson has helped us in moving forward to create a very successful school. Have you seen the prices right on TV? Yeah. Okay. When I looked at the teacher's tracker and I got my report card for reading, one of the things that I didn't score 90 was on objective two, which is story elements. So what I did this year is I put all, everything that factors into story elements. It lets me know every day, these are the things that I need to push this year based on my report card. It's all about expectation, but we cannot limit it to the principal having high expectations and high standards for the teachers, but it's about the teachers having very high expectations of what the parents can do to help us as partners in education. The kids and the parents know that we're very involved in their lives, and the parents also have to be involved. We bring the parents in to update them as to what is being taught, what's new, what's coming up. We do reading workshops, we do math workshops. We provide some of the resources that they might not have available to them. And I'm the librarian here at J.P. Henderson. We have the parents do exactly what their kids do in the real test, so they understand that it's not easy. We're going to expect for the parents to learn the curriculum, to know what is expected for those children month per month per month. The parent needs to learn the strategy. They need to learn how it's going to be done. It's always about seeking almost perfection, but we're not going to catch perfection, but we will definitely catch excellence. Ms. Garcia was my principal when I was here. Some of the teachers have been here since I was here. So these children are not going to be just put to the side and said they can't do it because we know they can. We did it. I did it. It doesn't matter where you're from. It doesn't matter what language you speak. It doesn't matter the color of your skin. You're going to succeed if I can help it anyway.